Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we will understand what is API. You might have heard this word in web development, but still most of the beginners cannot understand what is API. In this tutorial, I will explain what is API in very simple way. So let's get started and understand what is API. Well, API is an acronym for Application Programming Interface. If you search for the definition of API, you will find this definition. An application programming interface is a set of functions, procedures, methods or classes used by computer programs to request services from operating system, software libraries or any other services provider running on the computer. Now actually, this definition is overwhelming. We need to find a way to understand what is API using other definition. So let's put this definition in very simple words. I hope you understand API using this definition. Application programming interface is a software intermediary that allows two applications to talk each other. Each time you use app like Facebook, send instance message, or check the weather on your phone, you're using an API. Hey, but still we didn't understand what is API. Now just wait a minute. If you take this definition to understand API, then it is hard to understand for most of the beginners. Then what is the best way to understand what is API? Well, don't worry, I will help you to understand this definition. So, we can understand API using a simple example. I hope you won't need to watch other tutorials to understand what is API after this tutorial. Now, let's take a look at this example. Now, let's say you want to book an airline ticket online and you want to find the best website to book tickets and you choose your favorite one. Now, did you notice you can book the same airline ticket from many websites just like Make My Trip, Guaybibo, Clear Trip and so on. Then, how this website did that? The answer is using API. Using API, they share the same functionality, procedure, and methods. They use the same classes and methods to know the reserve seat on the airplane. They have access to the airplane API to know booking information and book ticket for us. Now, let's take another example of API. Now, let's say you are creating an application and you want Google login feature to appear in the application. Then what will you do? You can use Google API. Using API key, you can access the Google API and create a login system for your application. The API key is for security. To create a secure session, Google provides API key. API keys are used to track and control how the API is being used. For example, to prevent malicious use or abuse of API. Using API key, you can do different kind of operation, just like finding the existing user on the Google, login to the Google account, and so on. So basically, Using API, you can use functionality provided by the API services. These services share the code with us, so we can run it. The whole world is using API to, to create an application. And what about you? I hope you understand what is API. If you have any question, you can ask me anytime you want. Subscribe for more programming related videos. Like this video if you find anything useful and share this video with your friends. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.